Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Today we go to the overworld. Let's first of all do a few little bits and pieces beforehand because I forgot one thing I need to do and that was to go and have a look at one of these quests. We didn't. I, well, Bob the Big Bat told me I can claim this one quite happily without risking anything. So what do we would like in this one? Hmm. So, well, I'm not so bothered about Supreme Union Apples unless we can do something with them, that is. But maybe three loot chests. Diamond blocks? No, I'm not going for those ones. Let's claim that one, I think. Done. So, that survival is now completed, which is great. One, another quest line completed. Uh, well, and claimed, of course. So let's have a look now. Done that one, and then press escape. So let's have a look at these loot chests. Okay, maybe it wasn't the best loot chest, that one. <laughs> Next one. Oh, it's ch changed it around. Um, yeah, really rubbishy ones. Never mind. Maybe I would have been better taking another storage shell. <laughs> so, let's get on. Let's put this junk away. I don't need virtually any of it as it happens. I think I've got some walruses in here. They are just decorative blocks. Completely useless. Oak wood. Things are a bit funny today. I think something's wrong with my... Oh, maybe it's to do with Easter. The colours are weird. The melon looks strange. The pumpkins look strange. <laughs> I don't know. Guess me what's going on. But here with my emerald pickaxe, I've changed it a bit. I removed the, uh, ex the wooden handle because it's now unbreakable. I replaced it with a um, supremium ingot or supremium to premium tool rod so that'll give us some prosperous now um, and I've made oh yes I've made some more face plates I made some diamond toolkits if you remember rightly last we made some seeds I made a seed for the guardian seed and eventually I decided to do that all the colors are weird I wonder if something's gone wrong with this oh, it's just special supposed to be like that today I don't know seems to have a sort of a a view as well. Right, I want to get rid of this as well. I just don't get this at all. Let's shift that into there. Right, and we can finish this quest off as well. I've got another quest done. Actually, it is bothering me this. I'm just going to restart the game. I think there's something wrong. Well, doesn't seem to make any difference. So, well, let's, look, I'll just put it with it for time, but gold looks a bit of a strange colour. I seem to have this strange view. I wonder if I've done something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to go off to the overworld. So the first thing I want to do is to actually go and do my cloning. Everything's weird. I must have somehow changed something that I'm not aware of. Because when I stopped yesterday, it wasn't like this. <laughs> okay, sorry. Right, I forgot where I put my all the browns of different colours. Netherite looks very strange. It looks like a texture pack has been added. And I definitely haven't added one that I know about. Anyway, let's go into here. Um, no, let's not go into here. Let's put my stuff away first. I nearly forgot. <coughs> I want to put this away. I'm not so bothered about these things. And I've, oh, I haven't claimed that quest, have I? Let's get rid of these. Let's just do the quest as well before I forget. That would be bad to not forget that. Uh, I just need some space for the katana. <laughs> oh, this will do. Right, yes quest that was the tier five seed so i don't know if i've come over here to do that quest mr agriculture that one oh nearly got it first time and there we go got it this time so we've done everything on here so 547 so we've got gold seeds blade seeds gas seeds and enderman seeds so this one i the one the one i made before hasn't been done so let's just claim that reward 547 wasn't it, I think. Just double check it. Yes, that is. Escape. Right, that's done. So now we can go back to that and then check that's now just basically completed the gas seed. So we can claim loot chest and dump. So the next one would be tier 5 mystical seeds. 
which is going to be diamond, emerald, wither skeleton seeds, uranium seeds, platinum seeds, iridium seeds, oh, endurium seeds, manilium seeds. Well, that's basically a lot of seeds to do. Elorium seeds actually can do that fairly quickly, but we need a lot more um, supreme essence before I can start doing on any of those. And then obviously the last one's going to be tier six seeds. Wow, that's quite a lot of work, isn't it? So, um, you know, my volume's a bit high at the moment. Let's just turn that down. So that's that lot done. All right, I'll carry on now. Sorry, have I got everything in me? Yes, I have. Let's just want to open up the loot chest and put this away. I still don't get why I've got this strange view. That's really weird. It bothers me a lot. <laughs> oh, I've got no space in here, have I? Four seeds. Oh, yeah, I'll do for the time being. Just enough in there. I don't think we get any new ones coming in. I thought this is a video setting. Have I misclicked a video setting? Anyway, if you can put up with it, we'll put up with it for today. It looks very strange. So, right, let's open up this loot chest. I've got some fish and an inferior fish fishing rod. Okay, right. <laughs> that would have been useful. And I've got no space in these chests, have I? No. 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 And no. Okay. Um. Oh, actually, no, I can put this stuff. Got one more chest with stuff in it. And I don't need these either. That was basically the reinforcements I did for the stuff. So, right, let's go into the shell chamber. We got to the top, now up we come. I didn't take the armor off, and here we are. We were basically where that is, even the pink's, the pink's gone strange. So, one thing that, let's go and get a tool stuff like that. You'll notice that I've basically got all the same set of skills, if I go and press E and have a look at the skills, so they've all remained the same, I haven't lost any of those. But the level up stuff has changed, so if I look at the level up, you can't even get there, so I've got to get to 5 XP before I can even open that menu. So let's just get... Actually, I do want to take one of these with me when I go to the uh, overworld, so let's go and get the stuff. So basically, my armor's in there, and I'm in there. So now, what do I want? I've got this armor here. I made the armor, finished it off. I started to try to make the flux... Uh, the jetpack version of this are very expensive, very time consuming. I must be honest with you. Um, I want that one. Oh no, I don't want that one. Put that back. Next chest. Right, here's the other stuff in here. I do want the dank null. Let's just put this. Let's just put this armor on first of all. It's all charged up, ready to go, and it's been enchanted. So look at the enchants. I put on here respiration three, protection four. I'm breaking. Rest, uh, protection three, thorns two. Here, basically, just got protection and protection four, and I'm breaking three. And here, I've got feather falling four and frost walker. There's possibly another one I could depth strider I could put onto there. I'm not 100% sure what the best ones are. Maybe you can tell me. So I want all of this stuff out of here like this. I think I'll take the water mill with us. I don't think I need the cobalt pickaxe, but we can take it with us anyway. Where's my pickaxe? Is there? I've got pickaxe on that one. I'll take a hammer with me just in case. And I'm going to take this tank from here as well. You'll see why. When we get to the overworld. Oops. So now I just need to open, I'll put that up here like this and take out. Of, just make sure we pick everything up as we go along. The jetpack will we'll, well, we'll take that with us just in case we need it. The chunk loader we're going to put down now. Oh, I enchanted the shears for them breaking too, and I made an, a compressed crook with unbreaking three on it. So what I want to do now, before we still haven't quite complete everything, let's go and get some food as it happens, because of course the food's been. <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Is that the one? 
Did I just eat one? Uncooked one. Well, let's cook these up. Take the others with us. And we put those into our offhand, I think. Like that. Good. Yeah, it's this thing. Wherever it's gone to. I'm going to knock it off here and I'm going to put it on RF. Because Sir Harry tells me I can put this into RF. Power this with RF. So we've got that one. So I've got the storage constructor and the storage shell. We need a storage shell. We also need... Well, I'm going to take them with us a waystone. There are some special bits and pieces about the waystone. I don't ask me what it is, but uh, it is different. So weird, everything looking different. I do not like it. So... RF, let's just find some RF here will do. If I just put it onto these pipes here, shell constructor, put it there, it should also work. So if we right click this, and sure enough it's building up another me. And it's building up another me very fast in this case. So that's probably draining, I don't know how much RF per tick it's using, but it's going a lot faster than the pig did. <laughs> right, okay, good. Thank you very much, Harry, good tip. Now, is everything else prepared? Have I done anything else that I want to show you? This was, we did the work all the way through this last time. Oh yes, that was right, it was the wither, wasn't it? I set off the, uh, grinding withers. We should have got 16 wither stars. We got 12. Um, now I've got some more uh, soul sand in the bag. Let's just get it out. We've got another 30 soul sand in there. So in here I can see one bit. So we need another four, which is six. No, we need another. Yes, we need another four, uh, which 60 minus one, so it needs 15 pieces in here. So let's put 15 pieces. Okay, I'll put that into here like this. And we'll see what we get this time. I think it was in, do you know, I can't remember which side I put it. I think I put it in this side. Let's have a look. If I've got it in the right side or not. If I haven't, I have to put it in the other side. I should label those, shouldn't I? Well, I would have expected that to have gone in by now. Oh yes, it's working good. So, we should get some more withers being generated. Oh uh, yeah. Done out of his way. And the reason I like grinding the withers like this is, well, because of the supreme essence that we're getting out of here, as well as, of course, the wither stars. One thing we could also make is, and we get a few other byproducts, like, well, that's not such a useful one, is it? But the wither ribs are good. We can make another set of armour with that. Basically, we need 24 for a set of armour, don't we? So I'll just let those carry on. I suspect we're not going to get all 16. I wonder what's happened because it did take a. I was, I'm using multi MC at the moment and it, it did take quite a long time to load up, downloading some more assets. I wonder if the assets have changed for today. So let's eat again. And I think that's basically it. I think we're ready. We've got an addiction torch and we've got some mega torches. I'll take those with me. I want to put down this chunk loader. Let's do that before I forget. The idea of the chunk loader is that it will um, keep everything loaded in here. I think it already is kept loaded. So if I press F9 twice, we'll see the chunk boundaries. And it'll do chunk two chunks. So really what I want to make sure is I get this chunk here and this chunk load kept loaded up. So where's the boundary for this one? Oh, I'm standing on it. Um, let's just put it down here. That should do. Let's show the lasers. So that'll keep all of these machines running. So we keep everything running. And it'll probably keep the farm running as well. But I think this is world spawn. I'm not 100% sure about that. How world spawn works. You see that's already completed this. Another me. Anyway. So I think that's good. So let's hide the lasers. And... 
over here i didn't show you this i was basically looking at this last time have we got enough and sure enough we've got crude oil and we've actually got this bitumen's now full so it's producing enough crude oil for the bitumen to carry on working so this is always going to be permanently open so long as it's and they've got five in here now so long as um it stays junk loaded so let's go i don't think there's anything else to do now the animation's cool <laughs> goes up covers your head like this we press f5 oh yes we can and here we are let's press f5 again while well, we're actually coming to the to the world the overworld here we go so the first thing i'm going to do is put down another torch uh, and i'm going to put down an addiction torch like that so if we have any problems i'm also going to mark this as a place first of all it looks like i've come at night time Have I got a bed with me? Indeed we have. Let's put the bed down here. Oh, can't put it down there. Like, oh, I have to put it in my hand for it, I? There we go. I can put the bed down like that. And I'm going to press B, I'm going to press Z on my keyboard because that's what I've done. So we'll say portal. We'll make it nice and bright and yellow so we can see where it is. Save that. So I think since it's night time, I hope this works, I'll have a sleep. Sweet dream, an advancement made. Oh, there we go. So now we are daytime in the world. So now that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to fly and see if we can find a slime island to start with. There's some squids. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's go and get a few squids while we're here. Oh, Frostwalker, yes. Oh, that's what Frostwalker does. <laughs> You know, can I actually shoot these guys or not? I don't know, I can't. Let's get out of here. Maybe I have to break through the frost if that's the case. <laughs> well, I probably want Death Strider. Are they too hard to, sh to kill with this thing? Let's have a look. Maybe I need to get my katana out. Oh, I didn't bring my katana with me. Never mind, we'll use this one. see if we can get some squid where do I want to get squid well I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you hard to kill how much health has this thing got <laughs> tons so what's a squid normally one hit <laughs> I've got respiration three on my thing, haven't I? Is... Right, got him at last. Now the reason I want some XP, actually I want some squids. The reason I want squids is I want some XP. And the reason I need XP you'll see in a second. Because we lost all our XP when we, we teleport or cloned I think. Got which goodness gracious makes this thing hard to kill. Right, got four XP. Actually, that's enough. Oh no, it's a traveller. Let's have a look at him. Let's right click him, see if we've got anything interesting on him. Six apples will give me an emerald. Snowballs, flint, not so interesting. What we can also do here is put down a waystone. Now waystones do work. I got some cotton seed. Oh, very good. So waystone. So I'll put this down by the bed here. I'll call it overworld portal. and right click it to activate the bottom of it. Now, if I want to teleport here now with my warp stone, it doesn't work. Oh, it does work. It didn't work before. Maybe it's because I'm near. See, three and four are out of range, but base and polar aren't. I don't fully understand. 
because when I was trying testing this out before, but when I click here, right click this one, or with an empty hand, I can then choose those two. So it's no big deal. I can go back to base from here, no problem whatsoever. So that's good. Hmm. Right, let's go and find our slime miners. Have we got a jetpack on? Yes, we have now. What's that thing over there? Frog. A chameleon. <laughs> I don't know if they've got uses, have they? Let's go this direction. Let's go up and fly along a bit and see what we can find. Let's see, that looks like fairly dead stuff. There's another travelling merchant. What do we have here? You know, I think this is one of these mods I have no idea what it is. We'll just put a marker down here. We'll say it's a said fountain. And carry on a bit. It's good to be in the overworld. I've not been here for a very long time in this game, anyway. In fact, even in my previous episode, it was sure I was doing a Galactic Science 2, we were on the moon all the time, so. What have we got here? There's another interesting feature. Or maybe just gravel. See, what is that? Let's go and have a quick look. Because, uh, cobblestone. I don't reckon, the textures are all different at the moment, and don't ask me why. Um, it's very strange. And here we got another one. This one is actually more complicated, isn't it? I'll just mark this one as well, so we know where it is. So I think we have a need to come back to this one. I'm going to call it a fountain again. I'll spell it right there, so save that. Anyway, we're really looking for all sorts of interesting things. Pumpkins. Beehives. And polar bears. What's that? Is that a pink slime? Let's go and get it before it gets into the water. Push it backwards. What did I pick up there? Oh, just slime balls. Oh, new slime balls. Interesting. Okay. Here we've got another travelling merchant. Can we right kick him? What's he offering? Cooked rabbit will give me emeralds and flint and paper. Okay, not very exciting either. And there's another one over here too. Now po polar bears I think are passive. Not that it makes much difference to be honest with you. Uh, the same again I guess. Oh, seeds in that case. Bread. Slime balls and okay, nothing desperately exciting. Some interest coconut trees, yeah. I still have, oh, there we go, it's a slime island. There's two slime islands here. Of course, they have to have giant slimes on them, but just have a quick look here. Um, I'm going to check my bauble slot here. I'm going to take this off here like this and I'm going to put it into my backpack. Uh, if it, oh, they're dropping down, are they? Okay, well, that's not what I want them to do, really. Keep him going back so he doesn't drop off the edge. That's right.
So the reason I enchanted this is because we want to get basically a lot of some saplings. We need the purple slime saplings. So where has he gone to? So we've got a slime chunk tier three. The slime chunk tier three is a good because that basically saves you lots of stuff. I've got a blue slime ball too. Good. So let's just or excavate this away. It's not working. Purple slime. No tool. What's wrong with this then? Huh. Well, this is a pickaxe. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, I've got um, leaves. But I can turn those leaves into other things. That's no big deal. Huh. So what's wrong with my compressed, unbreakable... Oh, it is working this time. Try the war excavating again. Oh, that's weird. So we've got a few saplings now, 13. We've got a purple slime ball, which is also good. We don't need so much of this, because with that we can make a bonsai I think. Now where did that... There's another one over here, oh look. Another giant one. He's going to fall off the edge if I don't get number two. No, I've done it already. Let's go down here and get him. If he hasn't died. We want some of these different coloured slime balls. We've got some blight ones here too. Interesting. That's a loony one. It's got it's got it. Now have I got my yes I have good. Let's just go down here and get the stuff. Don't ask me why it does that. Get this nice blatty screen which I can't see anything when I've got it in. So we've got 16 blue slime balls, that's good. Because that means we might be able to do um with 16 blue ones. Might be able to make some blue slime dirt. Unless I can find a blue sapling. Now where's the other one gone to? one I have attacked and there's one I haven't attacked and there's another one of these structures oh, this is some big slimes in here let's just oh lots of slimes look at this lot but the black ones are not dropping any carts at the moment it's a shame Oops. I'm not sure which one's magical. This one over here is magical. Huh? I've had that before. Something's shooting at you. Sure, which one it is. So I'll just carry on here beating these guys up for a bit. Some more black ones, that's interesting. Depends on what their magic powers are. One of those is over there, some magical ones pushing me. Well, it's a bad time to eat sometimes. <laughs> right, after we've done this, we'll, we'll, there's a lot of mobs up here, quite spectacular. Any more around? 
Well, no shortage of XP underneath here, so. Oh, and there's some armor, which I'm not really interested in, to be honest with you. Let's have a look. Oh, we got some. No hearts. Never mind. Right, it's night time. It's time to go back home. I think. See, we can't use the. Um, where's it gone to? The warp stone from here. Oh, we can. I don't believe it. Uh, maybe it's just a, an XP thing. Okay, let's go back to base in that case. So now we can do some interesting things, can't we? Let's turn my jetpack off to start with and let's uh, replace the jetpack with the other one. Oh, I did forget two things on which I really shouldn't have forgotten. One was the katana, which was in here. And the other thing, I forgot to put this shell storage down below into the, into the overworld. So now I've got a load of stuff. Let's have a look if we can get rid of some of this stuff. That's got rid of some of it. Um, cotton seeds, purple slime saplings. Right, so the first thing we need to do with purple... I'm going to put these up here, actually, because I don't need these on me. First thing I'm going to do with the purple slime saplings, we've got some swords, what are those? Soul sealer 2, smite 2, nothing too exciting. Put those in here. Anything else that wants to go away in there? Um, not much. So what we're going to do is make a hop of a bonsai hopping pot for that one. So I just need a piece of dirt normally. I think I've got clay in the other one, so we'll just do it like that. Hopping, I've got some more armor in here. I want to get rid of this as well. Protection for that's actually a good one. <laughs> Snowballs. Why did I get those from? Anyway, so let's do the hopping bonsai pot. This one. So, oh my goodness, it's driving me crazy, this view. I don't like this at all. I'll have to see it. Between episodes, I'm going to see if I can find out what I've done. I'm sure I've done something. Now, chests should be in here. And I can't see them for trial. There they are. Even more difficult now, isn't it, with the, the stuff that's different colours. <laughs> right, I'll do a Right, good. So the bond, the bonds I put is just four, five pieces of clay or bricks. If we just do that like that. In case we need another chest, let's take another chest out of here. And go and put those down. So I'm going to put it down with the other stuff. Oh, that's some blazing pyrothium, by the way. What I was doing there was making some of the, the bits and pieces for the next... Um, oh, what am I talking about? Uh, for, the, for the next art jetpack level. Okay, let's put this down on top of that. Let's put onto that one of these saplings. And that's working. We'll put the rest of the saplings in here and the purple slime ball. It's having a bit of a thought, and I was wondering where the blue ones had disappeared into. So, after a while, we should get some more purple slime balls, and we need a few of those. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many we need to make some night slime. There is something else I could have done with this here, is I could put on... I've got unbreaking through on it. I could put mending on it, and I could also have put on it um, fortune. You can put fortune on these as well. But for a few saplings, it's not so important. I've got lots of slime chunks. That's actually pretty good. Because there's a tier 3, so to make tier 4 slime chunks or whatever, then you've, you've already got, you're already halfway there, as it were. 
Oh, Eulorium seeds. I was going to make Eulorium seeds. I just remembered. Maybe that's, I think. Let me check that quest again. Eulorium seeds. That's the one with tier 5 mystical seeds. I think it's the one we're doing, isn't it? Is it done? Yes, so I can do the Eulorium seeds now without then having to mess around. So I made another tier 5 crafting seeds. We've got four Eulorium ingots. We made that before, so it's no big deal. And then we need four um, Supremium Essence. And it's the usual recipe for this, I think. So it's basically that goes in the middle and you get a cross of whatever it is. And these go in the corners. Well, they should do if I did it right. And then we get a Eulorium seed, tier 5. And then we can go and plant that. <coughs> We can get some start getting some Eulorium essence. So I've actually made a few more cloches in the between episodes as well. I put I made three. I've set them up, I think. And I haven't put I put the dirt in and I haven't put anything in yet, so that'll carry on. So this will start to make Eulorium. So we'll get that in a short while. Hmm. So the other thing I now can do is just make some um, dirt, can't I? Let's go and make some dirt. Now, special dirt, Tinker's Construct stuff. That's the crystals I want, isn't it? So I can make some slime crystals now. So I can make a, a standard one. So we need to make this slime dirt here. So what do we need dirt? Soul sand, sand, dirt, and slime balls. Okay, that's not so difficult. It's exactly the same recipe as that one. So we're going to need at least plenty of dirt in there. So sand, we should have some maybe in this chest. No. The stone is looking very weird. Sand, five pieces of sand. It's not exactly a lot. But soul sand we should have plenty of. Let's just take some soul sand out of here. Because we'll get my making... Oh, look, got some sand in here. It'll be enough, actually. I think nine. I actually want to make the blue ones first, don't I? I'm missing dirt, huh? Dirt, isn't it? Did I not pick up dirt? Oh, no. I did. And the slime balls are up here, that doesn't help me very much. Uh, I've got 50 of those and that, that'll do. We should make some of those. And we should have some magna creams around. In fact, the slime balls orange, I think, are the ones we can use for that. I'm not 100% sure. I think so. Let's try. Yeah, I don't need that in there. So I'll make a... Let's make two of three of each. Since nine goes that nicely, so let's do the next one. Why does it go in there? Ah, oh, orange, yes, that'll do. What's he want? Netherrack and soul sand. We've got soul sand. Netherrack. <laughs> so we put that back. So you've got lots of those that should do for that. Nether rack is in here. Oh, it does need soul sun. And these have to be magna creams, do they? Oh, okay. No big deal. Let's just... Uh, we will use the orange ones. I think the orange ones will also work for this, won't they? Yes. Oh, try that again. Uh, blaze powders. So that was two for each one. So therefore we need six in total. And I've got five. five okay. We just need some soul sand. Let's put this 
sand. I'll oh, finish off the sand. So sand here. Forget that. So we have three of these. So we now just simply cook those up and they can make the crystals. Let's shift those into there like that. I think we just have to take those out. Now, why did I want these? It was to do embossing. So if we can have a look at the Tinker's Construct book, page 130 something or other, 136 or something like that. This one. So we need a block of gold and a part and then we can emboss a tool with that so we basically got those blue slime crystals the green slime crystals and the magma slime crystals so we need then three blocks of gold so the next thing of course is to decide what i want to emboss with what <laughs> um i don't know i don't know i'll be honest let's take these out of here We'll leave that for the time being. In fact, this is actually where is it gone to? Raw calamari, so what's the use of that? We can make fish bait or squid bait. Ocelot bait and sushi. And I think the rest of it's food, so we can basically just convert that to fish as well, raw fish. Or, or make some fish traps. Now, why have I come down here? I've completely forgotten why I came down here. Oh, yes, I know. I was going to check the wither skeletons, see if we've got 16. We're short of one. So, we've got none in there, so that we should have one more wither skeleton. So, let's just put another four into this one. And I think we'll find we get the foot. The last one so you see what's happened these are obviously infinity booster cards that come from blight mobs this one we can use to make the um oh the crooks we need to make a crooks for this as well how's that doing yep yeah, so there we have it so basically the soul sand was disappearing in it during um this process so obviously it'd be best to put the soul sand in there we go so now we'll have our 16th we've got some wither ribs and we should get some more supremium essence which 32 is a good number and that actually is such a nice way to make that it's not true because doing it this way is taking a very long time and I've been using it up to make the other seeds and at this moment in time we need a lot more of this so let's put that into the seven see i've used a lot of that up in the in the meantime so i have to decide what to do next in fact so we've been to the overworld i probably need to set up a base there and i want to go to the twilight forest what have we got here Oh yes, of course. I've been making obsidian and I haven't turned it off. Unfortunately, the absorption hoppers do not tell you when they're full. Let's just turn it off like that. It's now f completely full, so we've just got some extra obsidian in here. It doesn't despawn too quickly, so that's not too bad. I'll go put these away. I'll do that between episodes. Anyway, I think for today that is possibly long enough. So next time, I hopefully we will find, um, I'm not sure what to find to be honest with you, but ho hopefully, <laughs> well, I need to go to the overworld and get that uh, night slime stuff, don't I? Oh yes, pearls, we'll make some ender pearls and stuff like that, um, purple ones, hopefully we get enough purple ones this time. So until next time, say bye for now. <laughs>